Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about role-playing games! Uh, again, we've got the uh, Juan Achoa backdrop. Uh, there are many other backdrops to choose from, but this is just my favorite, so I'm going to stick with it for a bit. Uh, I want to debut our new desk. Yes, look at this beautiful thing. Check out the dice that uh, uh, Roger's wife got for me. That was pretty nice of her. Uh, now, I am uh, going to stop talking about me so we can talk about our new guest we have on um, from uh, Incarnadino in in Iodine Press, Michael Miller. How are you doing, Michael? Uh, I am doing pretty well, Dr. Tom. How are you? Well, I had to swing by my place to pick them some things up. It's a great pad. It used to be owned by a nice lady named Lily. <laughs> nice. Very nice. <laughs> I understand that you recently released a new edition of your game, With Great Power. Now, I, I have some, some questions here. Now, With Great Power, does that... Does that come with backed up sewers? Or, or, or uh, with great power, does that come with shredded cheddar? Or, or with great power, does that come frosted flakes? It might. Um, uh, believe it or not, it, it, there's even some great responsibility in the back of the book. But yeah, so no, I do have a, a new edition of With Great Power uh, out and uh, available for print by the time this hits the internet. One of the great things about being a superhero fan uh, in 2016 is everybody knows what you're talking about, which is not, it's, well, has not always been the case um, in decades past. I don't have to teach players superheroes. Um, I just have to sit them down at the table, let them know that their friends are going to listen to them, are going to uh, support them, and uh, give them just enough prompts to get started, and they will say the most amazing, uncanny things about superheroes that you could ever imagine. Um, and that's what With Great Power, the new version of With Great Power does, is it um, it prompts players just enough to kick in their own creative faculties and say things that they never thought they would. Um, the, um, the structure of the game is taken heavily from a fantasy role-playing game called Swords Without Master. Um, so it uses a, uh, a similar system of uh, that superhero stories are, driven, are, are told in two tones. Um, the tones are red and blue. Now, what does red and blue mean? I think uh, it means the police are coming. That sometimes it means that. Red is uh, power, energy, uh, excitement. Um, blue is solidity, is uh, inspiration, is doing the right thing. What defines the superhero genre is that sort of uh, flight of imagination and that aspirational quality of, of serving something greater. Um, and so in the game, uh, something happens, it comes to be your turn, you have two, two six-sided dice, one red, one blue, you roll them, whichever one comes up high, that's the tone that you describe what happens next. Uh, well, do I need to know algebra to make my character? <laughs> you don't even ha need numbers to make your character, Dr. Tom. What? I give you prompts, uh, uh, questions to start your mind working on what sort of character you might have, such as uh, uh, there's a sniper somewhere up high. Um, how do your powers save the day? Um, and then you tell me what your powers are. So, so you're saying that I could have a super long tongue to take down the gun, and that that would be acceptable. We can make that work, and with great power. You, we absolutely could make that work, and with great power, um, because anything you could make work in a comic book, you should be able to make work in a role playing game. That's pretty sweet. Okay, okay, awesome. Okay, great. So, so with great power, and you're saying it's available in print now, as of uh, the release here? Yes. Cool. Now I'm gonna go back in the go way back, way back, because uh, you also have another game that I find fascinating. It is called Serial Homicide Unit. Now I heard you got some killer reviews for that one. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, yes, uh, Serial Homicide Unit uh, is a game uh, written by my wife Catherine Miller, um, published by me. Um, you know, we publish it together, and it is. Um, a game where you play 
the um, civilians who are living out their normal lives, seeking out their hopes and dreams, and have no idea that they are being hunted by a serial killer. Uh, and you also play the members of the serial homicide unit who are trying to uh, hunt down and stop the killer um, before the next victim actually winds up dead. Um, and uh, no one plays the killer. It's one of my it's one of my favorite games to play um, because it's very grounded. It's set in the real world, and um, the characters people come up with, um, even the what the characters that you don't necessarily like. You always understand um, and and root for, and it's always a little tragic and heartbreaking when the turn comes around and you open up an envelope and you pull out the name of whoever the next victim is. And there's always a cheer uh, whenever uh, we catch the killer, uh, which doesn't always happen, um, but you know that's part of the risk of the game. Neat. Now, now there's like an all audio version of this game, right? To play Serial Homicide Unit, you don't even need to read the rules beforehand because there is uh, uh, audio files which will take teach you the game step by step as you play. That's so cool. I love that. I mean, we, a lot of times people are, are releasing games and trying to find, you know, they'll do it in the EPUB or they'll they'll do it in some other way. And they're always talking about pick up and play. And it sounds like you in Serial Homicide Unit, you got that kind of lick. That's great. I see what you did there. <laughs> That's why I said I got a crack writing team. Good job, Rogers. Yes. Okay. All right, Michael Miller, uh, I think it is time. Uh, the time has come for you to answer a serious question. Are you ready for a serious question? <clears throat> I am ready for a serious question, Dr. Tom. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> I believe supervillains a lot. What can I say? Man, I. that's great. You're a very supervillain. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, so this is going to be this, this. This is a different kind of serious question because it's all supers related because of with great power. I'm going awesome. to do the lightning round versus uh, of serious questions. So here's no hedging. There's there's no there's no no six of one half dozen. I'm going to give you two. You have to choose one, and then we're going to go on. We're going to just keep lightning fire. You ready to go? You ready? It, it's spring 2016. It's super. It, it's the versus. It's the versus season in super in superhero dumb. Yeah, there might be a theme. All right, ready? I got it. Superman or Captain America? Captain America. Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel? That's Carol Danvers. Carol. Oh, Batman or Spider Man? Spider Man. Flash or Hawkeye? I want to ask who's writing. Um. Mm -hmm. You said Hawkeye, right? I said Kate Bishop, yes. <laughs> oh, man, Brendan Conway would love you for that one. Okay, JLA or Avengers? Definitely the Avengers. Okay, all right. That is great. Now, now, do you have a second to maybe we could do the lightning, lightning round? Sure. Okay, Black Lightning versus Shazam. Shazam. Electro versus Electra. Electra. Doctor Doom versus Brainiac. Doom. Always doom. Good choice. AC versus DC. <laughs> DC. DC versus AC DC. Oh, definitely DC. Okay, good call. All right. Well, that that's it. That's the whole lightning round. That's all the lightnings that we had. How how can you have a lightning round in that storm? Oh, well, Rogers? Oh, yeah, he's he's just shrugging. He he, he ran out of uh yeah, he did. He missed the storm. That way to go, buddy. All right. Yeah. Well, Michael Miller, uh, again, we have got uh, with great power and serial homicide unit, which isn't in physical form, but you can listen to audio and you can download the PDF for us, right? All from uh, iodine press. Uh, I press games.com. I press games.com. Thank you so much for coming on, Michael Miller. It was great to have you. It was great. It was my best uh, interview with an amphibian ever. You just watch the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. And we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime. <laughs>